Good morning and welcome to this week's Coffee and Conversation. I had some thoughts outlined and then I felt kind of pulled to talk about something else. I don't know how this one's going to go. We'll see. I just put in my mailbox a thank you note to my ex-wife. When my son came over for dinner Monday night, he came with a box. Bunch of photo albums, high school, yearbooks, diplomas, stuff that I, some of the stuff I remember and wondered where it was at one point, stuff that I had long forgotten. And like I said, I haven't really prepared for this topic, so I'm not sure how it would go. Um, but she could have thrown this stuff away. And she didn't. She did the right thing, the kind thing. And I don't know how this will work. There's a picture of my mom and dad on their wedding day. My mom. And This really cool picture of my dad that was way in the 60s or 70s and then a photo of the first love of my life. My true love that never betrayed me, never failed me. The 76 Monte Carlo. No Landau roof. Everyone had a Landau roof. I hated that little vinyl roof. I haven't talked to my ex-wife in over five years. And I guess my son and my niece, he shared a bunch of pictures. They had a talk. She was impressed with the volume of my hair in high school and early in my 20s and such. Um, but uh, I spent like two hours looking through the photos and all. It was very appreciative. Both my parents are gone, so there's some stuff in there that I would never be able to get uh, otherwise. So I'm that guy who writes thank you notes. In my desk, on, in one drawer, I have two boxes of them. I, I have not been as prolific as when I was in the corporate world and all. But what I want you all to think about is who should you write a thank you note to this week? Because, I'm not talking an email, not that, and I'm not knocking sending a thank you via email, but there is something powerful about taking out a thank you note and writing a heartfelt and appreciative thank you. I will tell you, my before I became fully self-employed years ago, I had done that towards the end of the year where we had turned some stuff around to two or three people. And one of the individuals I know from a relative still has that thank you note. It's one of the few things she saved from the company when she left. Because nobody ever told her thank you. How often do we forget to tell people thank you? I try to be pretty good at it. But I've found I send the thank you notes because they were earned or I felt the need to do it. Not for a response, but it's interesting how often you get a phone call or you get a response or the impact that it makes. And I think we get so busy that we forget to take care of and do things like that sometimes. So that's my challenge for you. Who should you and can you write a thank you note to? I have no idea... If my ex will see my handwriting and throw it away. If she will. What she'll do. No idea. It's not. doesn't matter. I felt the need to tell her thank you. And so I did. And don't know if and when I'll talk to her. When I'll run into her. I have no more ill will in my heart for it. No anger. Not like it was 15 years ago, 10 years ago. 
maybe even five years ago when I had to fight to get a ticket to see my own daughter graduate high school. I was a different guy back then. Uh, but don't forget to tell people thank you. It's one of the more powerful things you can do. I have pictures of my dad and my mom that I haven't seen in 15 years. Didn't, didn't vaguely remember it existed. And a bunch of childhood pictures, which I'm not going to embarrass myself by sharing. Um, I already showed just a few, but uh, we're locked up in the houses for the most part. This is a good time to send a couple of thank you notes. Champs, stamps are cheap. Um, and there's probably at least one person, if not two, all of you owe a thank you to that a quick note would be greatly appreciated. Guys, enjoy your morning and have a great week.